G'day guys, m 10 here. Today we're going to learn how to use the generators within Octane Maya and how to get to them and how to use them effectively. So, I've just remade my scene a bit. Um, select the object you want, in my case it's going to be the UV sphere. So click New, Octane Materials and click on Glossy. So let's just preview that in the renderer. As you can see it's pretty reflecting. So let's go to the diffuse and let's click, as you can see here in the octane textures we have all of these, and let's click on the hmm, checkered. So as you can see and here we'll have the full transformation. So let's test this out a bit. Let's just go on, let's test it 5, 5 and 5, refresh. Hang on. Oh, hang on, 0 0.5. So let's change it. Let's put a hundred in here. As you can see, it's very cool. Um, let's go back, back. Uh, with the roughness, we're going to pick a oh, clamp texture. Let's see what that does. Yeah, can't really tell much of a difference. Uh, let's go to, I don't know, specular. Oh, hang on. Let's go to specular. And let's click on marble. Whoa, that does a lot. Whoa, that does a lot. Um, let's try and test out some more variants. Yeah, looking good. Looks like a marble chest set, but or the texture of the chest set. Let's go to bump and let's go to. I'm having fun here. Turbulence. Uh, octaves. Whoa, that's creating a lot. Mega. Whoa. Now that's a really weird ball. As you can see, the that's creating a lot of detail. Actually, I'm very surprised. Uh, let's change the octane to PMC. Wow, it's a lot of detail. Hmm. All right, let's test this with the. Um, oh, don't delete it. Let's test this with the glossy, so let's go to, I mean not glossy, the specular, so we have a specular, we have a reflection transmission, so with the, uh, let's just render it out for a sec, so with the uh, transmission, let's have a marble, and let's change the rendering settings back to direct lighting, Okay, we're seeing some um, some sort of negative effect here. Uh, let's go to the reflectance and let's go to the turbulence. Oh, I guess so. It's affecting some something or other. Uh, let's go to the dispersion. And oh, not the special. Let's go to the bump. Uh, let's go to I don't know checkers. That would give it a good bump, wouldn't it? Let's go to full scale and let's set this to 100. That's 100. That's 100. 
Oh yeah, I can see some sort of a difference here. Hang on. It's creating like a square sort of thing. Hmm. Let's check the rendering settings. PMC. We're getting some sort of cross checking here along with the materials and bumping. Looking very good, very good. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, um now let's try and test something out. Let's try and uh, go to the. Let's quickly assign a new material. Go to the specular again, and this time with the with the transmission. Let's give it a mixed texture. And with the texture one, we're going to have a turbulence. And with the second one, we're going to add a marble. And let's quickly change it back to direct lighting. Uh, let's quickly change the settings a bit. Alright, so that's done. Uh, with the reflection, let's go to multiply and let's multiply the cos and mix. And why did that do anything? Cos and mix. <laughs> Alright. Didn't like it. Let's get a rigid fracture. Yeah, you like that, didn't you? Let's add a sin sign scale. Let's quickly just change the PMC. All right, so you're using a large variety of different uh, generators. You can create some pretty wacky stuff with it. Um, just try and uh, experiment, try and uh, get what you want, and hopefully we'll work out if we are uh, a little beach ball there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.